At a meeting with auto workers, Premier Doug Ford was peppered with questions about hospital care in his province, amid stories of closures, overworked staff and delays. Make no mistake about it, uh, there, there, there's a logjam. But 90% of the patients are getting taken care of when they're going into the hospital. But those on the front line say that number isn't acceptable. Nine out of 10 is not what I strive for. I strive for 10 out of 10, and God forbid that one out of 10 was my loved one. One, two, three. And that it doesn't account for a crucial chunk of time. It is routine to be waiting between an hour and two hours for patients to actually get from registration to triage. Ford admitted the province needs more nurses, touting a plan to hire some trained internationally and a bonus to keep some from leaving. We gave the nurses across the province a well-deserved $5,000 retention bonus. Personally, I would rather have staffing. I would rather have you know, the ability to be there for my patients, the ability to take my own breaks. A survey from the Registered Practical Nurses Association of Ontario found nearly half of those questioned are considering leaving the profession. We work in a system today that wouldn't even be able to, to tolerate a thousand leaving. But when you think of half of 55,000, we can see the devastation. Uh, that would take place across the system. The GTA. Jean Dench's partner had a stroke two weeks ago, and waiting hours for an ambulance, her experience highlights delays across the system. People are really running ragged as far as the just trying to give basic care, and it's not, it wasn't even bathed for almost two weeks. Dench challenges Ford to spend a day in a hospital to see the situation for himself. They're getting the blood pressure taken, they're getting the other tests done, but there's no time for any humanity. Something patients and healthcare workers are echoing across the province. Chris Reyes, CBC News, Toronto.